guys, this is Tammy Treyer of Mountain Woman Journals at TreyerWilderness.com. I thought I'd bring you in the kitchen today and just uh, share a little bit of something with you. I am working on a series with Melissa Norris. You can find her at MelissaKNorris.com. And we're working on a homemade Christmas series. And I just got done um, making a melt and pour soap video for her. So for those of you that are interested in making your own homemade soaps, um, that is a way that you can make them. We will also be offering the traditional version of soap making um, in a future webinar coming in the new year. But um, I'm, I'm making a batch of chili today. Uh, we have guests coming. Um, the Mountain Boy is helping a uh, friend. And I'm making the chili right now. And it just made me think of some ways you guys can prepare uh, for the Christmas season. Um, we don't get caught up in the commercial side of things anymore since we are back here in the wild. We do all handcrafted things for one another and for our friends. And um, here are just some examples of the things that the Mountain Man has made. These are some of the wooden spoons that he's made for our kitchen. And um, they're just, I love those kind of gifts. They're awesome. And like I said, I just got done doing the soap. And um, we do a lot of canning, as you know. And here is a jar of the chili sauce that we made this season. And... Um, you know, you can give your, your canned goods. You can also give the gift of a meal to friends and family that are in need. You know, there's many ways that you can gift, and it doesn't have to be the holidays. And it can certainly be um, just because and to help out. So uh, consider, you know, what you are um, capable of, what the varying things are that you are good at. And, you know, sharing the gift of a meal to a family in need and um, just being gracious to those around you is, you know, a really important thing. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And I just wanted to share that. Okay, and I wanted to share this with you. One of my good friends, Dee, thank you, Dee, um, gifted me with an aloe vera plant today. Um, that's something I actually didn't have, um, just didn't get that far. And um, in my video on the soap making, um, there is some lavender oatmeal uh, soap, goat's milk soap. And um, during the video, I showed my plant that is absolutely going wild. Um, notice the heart-shaped leaves. But, I mean, it's just going off the counter and up and over and everywhere else. And it inspired me to mention that giving the gift of one of your houseplants is a really nice thing because you can actually take that uh, snipping off of there, put it in a ball jar with water in it, and let the roots form, and then replant it and gift it. And I just am always thankful for, you know... Any gift, but a gift um, with thought is always um, really touching, and um, a homemade gift is even uh, more incredible. So, you know, consider um, your options this year and join myself and Melissa. Um, you can find a link on my website at treyerwilderness.com, and you can subscribe to our homemade Christmas series. Um, I'm really thankful to be a part of it because it's something that we really focus on. We don't get caught up in the commercial side of Christmas. We um, are, you know, we, we are involved and, and, and enjoy Christmas because of the birth of Jesus. Um, and we share gifts with one another just because we enjoy making something and it's a nice time to share it. But, um, but you know, consider your options this year and as things are going, you know, the, the country's not in a good state, finances aren't good for many, but you've got talents and you can always learn how to do something new. So join us because there's many new things being shared and ways that you can gift uh, your family and friends. Most of my gifts to the men actually uh, hit their tummies more so than something that I actually have time to make that's otherwise right now. That's a good thing. <laughs> but this is something that the mountain man made for me as of late. Uh, he was out in the smithy on a down day when we were repairing something or waiting for parts and he made a rose for me on the forge and noticed the heart-shaped handle. He's such a sweetheart. So that hangs on the wall in my office, and that was just because I'm blessed. <laughs> and then, last year, my Christmas gift was one of his handcrafted knives. And it has my initials. I don't know if you can see that. It's dark in, in here. Let me see. I'm messing with the camera here. Let's see if I can try to... Uh, the lighting's pretty bad, but he has my initials on the side. And a nice rivet at the top with the paracord, and then he made this sheath. 
and that has my initials on it and has a dragonfly on it and it's a dark brown. I love chocolate colored leather so and the handle was also that was what um what wood did you use? Walnut. Walnut, yeah. Walnut handle. So we actually each got one of these. Mountain Boy got one. He made one for himself. He made one for Mountain Cousin. And he made one for me. So, you know, these are just the unique things that we do for one another. And this is something that we treasure and I can carry around with me. Actually, that had fat wood all over it <laughs> and sap. So it gets used. It gets carried with me all the time. So, you know, these are just some things and some ideas for you. You know, um, don't wait for Christmas uh, to gift your friends and family. And, um, you know, don't get caught up in the commercial side of things. You know, use your skills. Learn new skills. And, uh, like, we have the mountain boy learning a whole lot of stuff. Um, he's learning how to carve antlers. And, and we, we try to, you know, get our hands into all kinds of things out here. But I'm going to show you the chili and um, just tell you folks to have a wonderful day. And uh, join us on our website at treyerwilderness.com. And uh, until the next video, you guys take care. And God bless. only they could smell it. Oh, Miss Copper, what are you waiting for, Miss Copper? Are you waiting for an apple, Miss Copper? Tell Papa you want a piece of apple. I want some of this. Tell Papa. Hmm? Tell him. Want it? Tell him. Tell him. Talk to me. You gotta talk better than that. Come on, talk to me. Tell him. You're whispering. Use your voice. Tell him. Oh, oh that's a good girl. Skippy, are you going to eat apple today? He might eat it because it's the, the nice off-the-tree apples. You don't like the store-bought ones. Mrs., do you want another piece? Tell him better than that. You're not talking too well. Tell him. There you go. <laughs> All that for a piece of apple. <laughs> right. Mrs., look here. Mrs. Okay. Hey, you came too close. Now they can't see your pretty face. <laughs> what we do in the wilderness for entertainment. <laughs>